not taking personal readings at this time. Please do not get scammed by people posing as me in the comments section. Hello beautiful souls and welcome to my channel Rosology. So today's reading we are looking into um, what is turning around in your favor this month, this month of June or whenever you are seeing this reading because this is a timeless reading. So no matter what month you are viewing this, this reading today will be all about what is turning around in your favor, what the universe is helping to turn around in your benefit. And also in today's reading, each pile will feature a question and answer sort of portion where I just pulled three different cards to answer um, three different questions or concerns that you guys may have. Sorry for the amount of time that it has taken to come out with this reading. With today's reading, I had to dedicate a lot of time to an astrological reading that I was working on on Patreon, uh, just looking into the next 12 months for each zodiac sign and what this Jupiter transit, this new Jupiter transit throughout Taurus is going to do to each and everybody's zodiac sign. So I spent a lot of time working on that. Um, it was quite a long reading. And other than that, May was just insane on a personal level for me. Um, there was a lot of birthdays. There was a lot of stuff going on. And then we had like Mother's Day. It was just, it was just always something going on. It was crazy. But hopefully you guys have been doing well. So let's just jump straight into the disclaimers and the meditation. So obviously this is a general reading, meaning that it will resonate with who it is meant to resonate with. Tarot does not control or dictate your life. If you hear something that you don't like, or agree with and think that you are just fixed to that reality, then you are not using my readings correctly. I conduct these readings for confirmation, not answers. So if you hear something for the first time, do not take that message without receiving further confirmation from your own higher self and spiritual team. Realize at the end of the day, you have the final say with your destiny. Your free will is your power and what you choose to do with it will determine your life outcomes, not a pick a card reading on YouTube. So please be responsible and accountable for your own actions and use this as a guide to help decipher the message that your spiritual team has been trying to send you all along. If you would like to participate in this meditation, again, this is a general reading for the collective. So in order for this reading to resonate with you, you have to be personally synced into the energy of this reading to help you do that and to help you select a pile with your third eye and not your physical ones. I will be offering a 60 second meditation. Halfway into it, I will be placing crystals for my clairvoyance. I like to pick piles with objects on them. And after the clairvoyant pile selection, there will be a clear audience selection where I play a different tone for each pile and you can select a pile based off of which tone resonates with you the most. If you are drawn to another pile, it's because there is another message for you in that pile. So if you're already get into a relaxed position, become aware of your entire body, starting with your feet and working that awareness up in sections from the feet to the head. Then take a deep breath in through your nose for around five seconds. Hold that breath for three seconds and then exhale for six to seven seconds. Then ask your guides, spirit, ancestors, universe, or all of them to connect you to a higher self so you can receive confirming messages as to what the universe is helping to turn around in your favor uh, for this month of June or whatever month you are viewing this. And this is pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. On pile one is black tourmaline. On pile two is lepidolite. On pile three is black onyx. On pile four is smoky quartz.
pile one welcome to your reading so we are starting off with your tarot cards tarot energy tarot reading to check out what things are working out for you this month of june but this is also a timeless reading so uh, whenever you guys are coming across this reading it is meant for you so let's get started with your tarot cards here then i'll be pulling additional oracle cards on camera and also too literally just hit the power button and then it turned 444 um so yeah 444 repeating fours may be a significant number for my pile ones this month of june 2023 or whenever you're seeing this reading but getting started very first tarot card that we have for you is the page of pentacles the seven of wands The Fool, and then we have Judgment in Reverse, and I have to cover that up because uh, otherwise YouTube will restrict access to the video. All right, pile one. So um, first off, please write down or set some intentions as long as it feels intuitively right for you. Please do so. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm adjusting my mic, so you might have heard like a little boom on your end. But um, yeah, as long as it feels intuitively right for you guys, please write down or set some intentions for this month or whenever you're seeing this reading, because by the end of uh, the month for you guys, whatever you write or plan will either manifest or be set into motion energetically. And you guys also have a powerful opportunity with Judgment, who is ruled by Pluto, to turn a major concern around into a blessing. It is something that your guides have been assisting you with uh, in, in the Seven of Wands right here. And with the Page of Pentacles here, pages are students with, of a particular craft. They can also serve as messengers and deliverers of information. A page of Pentacles alongside your Seven of Wands. I feel as though many of you are discovering a trigger in June or the month that you're seeing this and how to divert it with this fool over here and this and so this will actually impact your karma with judgment in reverse so this is you guys having a sense of control or awareness when it comes to an irritation or annoyance that you're able to remove yourself from the situation with this page and uh, judgment over here and with that detachment you're able to decide how you will respond to a particular situation do you want to fight it because you'll win with the seven of wands right here obviously or do you want to say like you know what you can just miss me with the bullshit with the full card over here um, because you know this month um, or whenever you're seeing this, will feel like you have a lot of control over your reactions and you may notice that you have a sense of control over your environments, not the other way around with judgment in reverse over here. And how it's like, how do you want to judge a situation and you won't respond to every horn that is blown as you see with this uh, angel over here blowing this trumpet and in, in the card of judgment. So in reverse, this is so many of you guys feeling above some sort of an emotional like response or call or a coping mechanism that you used to unconsciously react to. Whatever work you guys have been doing on yourself emotionally or just, um, you know, applying different techniques that you may have learned, you will see in action in the month of June. Another thing with the page of pentacles is you guys being a lot more present this month and sticking to like a certain schedule or routine you'll notice is easier to do. I don't know if you guys have like a journal or take the time to make a schedule for the week or the month ahead, but try doing that in, in the month of June or again, whenever you're seeing this, because you're going to notice it makes a massive difference in how less stressed you feel uh, with the seven of wands and the fool over here. And uh, Seven of Wands is outnumbered by a lot of concerns and the Fool is absent of any care in the world. So again, this is you guys having a lot of control over how your day, week, and month plays out depending on how organized and present you are. Page of Pentacles is saying by the end of June, uh, this can be a month or by the end of any month, uh, this can be basically like a time where you make major progress instead of feeling like you are struggling to keep up somewhere with the Seven of Wands. You guys have the opportunity to feel like the fool who's floating on cloud nine as long as you decide 
what you want and execute those plans. And the full card for me in your pile, it feels like you guys starting over because some previous method didn't work for you. So June is a month where you guys are able to start over entirely and put some sort of plans into action. And I keep saying you guys with a day planner. So planning your entire month ahead will not only make a difference for you guys, but it will manifest uh, with the fool here and judgment in reverse is again saying you will reverse some sort of consequence. You guys can turn something around that you feel is negative, stressful, or isn't going to work out. It's not yet set in stone with this judgment card over here. And so this card is also saying that some of you may feel like you missed out on something or like you missed an opportunity and again you have the power this month to reverse something that you feel has passed you by where it comes back to you whether this is money uh career health relationship lifestyle whatever it is you can literally call something back and your guides as well as ancestors will help something is not past you or outside of your reach pile one it's still in your energy and you can draw it back to you before it is outside of your orbit and this could even be you guys like reversing gossip as well with the seven of wands over here uh, for those of you fighting a narrative somewhere else it's like someone may have been trying to paint some sort of a picture about you um, or if they have been like messing with your reputation this is definitely uh, with judgment over here like a ritual prayer intention or spell working where someone stops speaking on you and trying to ruin your reputation your reputation uh this is basically like some sort of a maybe it could even be like an evil eye or something that is it sort of like gets repelled or like bounces back to whoever it is it's like sending it and this fool is your name being unaffected uh by someone else's like negative intentions or goals to cause tension and stress and put you in like a he said she said sort of situation so let your spiritual team fight this for you and like i said if you have already asked them to handle a situation like this then you will see that happen this month it's Especially for those of you involved in a seven of wands, like they said, I said situation regarding your home, family, kids. This could be a citation, ticket, complaint, uh, dispute. Something as serious as like a lawsuit or as like subliminal as an insinuation that someone makes. And it gets turned around in your favor, favor with this judgment in reverse and the full card over here. So there may be some back and forth as well regarding money with this page of pentacles that works out in your favor this month. Because somewhere you guys have the evidence or the proof that you are holding on to or it'll come available for you to use um, with the seven of wands over here in order to fight what could be an accusation gossip or argument where this other party's claims gets completely thrown out so that's um, a really big thing that's like working in you guys's favor for this month as well but let's start grabbing some runes oh wow okay so that like Okay, um, this is, I don't know, Isa, Isa, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it says a challenge or, f or a frustration, psychological blocks to thought or activity, including grievances. This is where you guys are also going to see things turn around in your favor when it comes to a challenge or frustration. The seven of wands down here for sure. Psychological blocks to thought or activity, including grievances. This is that judgment in reverse. And like I was just talking about, this could be like a... This could be like a, a ticket or a citation or like you involved in like a he said she said sort of disagreement or dispute this could be any sort of like um narrative that you guys are, are trying to fight and it's just frustrating and it's just sort of like annoying it's an irritation like it says here a challenge or a frustration uh so this is another thing that's also improving for you guys and if you're into runes then this could be like a rune for you guys that ends up protecting you this month and then underneath the deck for you we have it was i think i'm not sure but it says strength reliability dependability trustworthiness enlightenment endurance defense and protection exactly you guys are like very very protected in this sort of situation you guys are your defense again it says defense right here and we have the seven of wands so this is you guys is like defenses like not necessarily being up i would say but it's just more so like you guys is like defenses are impenetrable um, in other words, is what I'm picking up with this card here. So there's just like a lot of strength, reliability, dependability, trustworthiness that is being worked on or turned around in your favor this month as well, whenever you guys are seeing this reading. So this is another rune for you guys if you um, maybe use runes or something to protect you. Let's just grab some cards concerning you guys' career and finances. See what could be turning around in your favor in terms of career and finances. Okay, this is a chunk of cards. I'm going to put them back and keep shuffling. Okay. So what's turning around in your favor? Underneath the deck here, we have be a sport. So you could um, 
and then we have options that came out for you guys um so you guys could notice with be a sport as well underneath the deck that uh something about team or unity really ends up improving this month and so uh options here says many opportunities are becoming available to you now or flooded by too many ideas do not get stuck in doubt when an offer presents itself seize the moment create multiple streams of income so you guys could even be creating multiple streams of income seeing a lot more options in terms of work and whatever options it is that you guys see i'm noticing this one yellow door right here you guys could notice that it's like intuitively um spirit has like highlighted the correct option for you guys when it comes to your money finances and career for this month and just regarding like improvements so especially if you guys have been looking to like improve your career or finances anything like that really rely on your intuition just like the fool over here he's a very intuitive like being like he's He's very unaware of his surroundings, that's for sure, but he's pretty intuitive in the fact that he just trusts where he's going, even though he doesn't know where he's going at all. He doesn't know how things are going to turn out, how they're going to end up, but he just knows to like keep putting one foot in front of the other. So uh, yeah, that's definitely something that's coming through in terms of options as well and improvements, things turning around in you guys' favor. We also have here be a sport. You're being asked to have more fun or focus on being a team player. You could be great at any sports career or in the field of health and fitness improve your finances by considering working as a team or doing collaborations. so you guys could even see some sort of collaborations opportunities for you guys to participate in some sort of like business endeavor or like a financial sort of opportunity anything like that you guys may also notice improvements in, as well because be a sport is totally talking about this um page of pentacles and the seven of wands over here so wherever it is that you guys have felt like you've had to actually like fight against the people in your life that you're supposed to be paired up with teamed up with and you guys are supposed to be like tackling things together there's going to be like really big improvements in terms of you guys feeling as though you're a team especially when it comes to your work and finances this month um you're gonna feel maybe like you have more support um or maybe as though like you have like you're handling so much on your own that it's like you're your own team maybe it could be feeling like that as well um but yeah with be a sport here i feel like this is totally talking about you guys just feeling like wherever it is that you've had to fight seven of wands with other people in your life to be it could be like in terms of saving money for example and you guys have been like arguing with your partner about hey you spend too much money or maybe they've been arguing with you about like hey you've been spending too much and I want to save this much money or um, I want to downsize or whatever it could be you know and it's like you guys end up like you know calling like a ceasefire or just seeing eye to eye and somehow finding a way to becoming a team again when it comes to finances and career for sure but that's just another improvement hat that's happening for you guys this month all right let's also grab some crystal messages for you guys for them this month see what improvements are happening and if you're into crystals and you can totally even like um take this as like a crystal that's reaching out to you for this month to help you with improvements in your life but try to focus on where you want to see improvements and let's see what card we get okay that just it feels like yours it's two cards but it feels like yours so we have your quartz and then underneath the deck we have kyanite so quartz here says what what it is amongst the most abundant uh, minerals on the planet clear quartz is everywhere but it is far from basic a master manifester quartz is pro like i was talking about with you guys like writing stuff down you're going to see a lot of that stuff come to fruition or manifest this month but it says quartz is programmable so you guys are able to actually really program your reality this month that like that's like a master like a super power or super ability that you guys are really working with this month um and we're actually in the if you're watching this when this reading goes up we just moved into gemini about a week or so ago so um this is all about information using the power of information to manifest and bring things in gemini's ruling planet mercury rules the magician card in tarot so this is a very like manifestation type of month or season or time where using information using words using verbal communication can actually call things in just like spells but it says quartz is programmable so give it a job to do and get busy who needs it rock hounds quartz intensifies the power of all the stones in your crystal collection uh and gemini oh, oh we were wasn't i just talking about gemini's it's crazy <laughs> 
That is insane. Okay. So some of you guys, you may have um, quite a bit of Gemini third house Mercury energy somewhere, but it says where to put it between your eyebrows during meditation, when to use it, when you find yourself believing the limitations that your mind puts in front of you. This is that seven of wands right here. Call on quartz to help you see through the illusions, clear the mind of self-doubt, surrender to the will of the universe and start manifesting the impossible. And then we have down here an affirmation, enhance your vision. I'm going to also read um, as right for you guys, but I'm going to put it back in the deck because it came out underneath quartz and I think quartz wanted to be seen but as right here says what it is meditative and dreamy as right is a soft powdery to prismatic rich blue copper infused mineral oh and it looks like this pretty stone and it says who needs it the materialistic vein and always craving that is not a judgment that is almost all of us and leos especially <laughs> where to put it alongside the spiritual shovel that you are using to dig your way out of that prison of worry indecision and desire that you've constructed around yourself and when to use it it says material pleasures are when material pleasures are not giving you the buzz that they used to when it is time to take a break from snapping selfies and chasing shiny things you can shake off shallowness start with your breath then dive into the deep end with azurite and explore your hidden depths it says at the bottom here and underneath the deck kyanite which looks like this um, it says what it is blue kyanite forms in a long striated columns it's heavy it's heady vibe makes it a mindful choice for the 20 minutes in the morning 20 minutes in the afternoon meditation set who needs it the perpetually restless where to put it on the bedside table altar or wherever you are looking to go deep and the perpetually restless it sounds a lot like the seven of wands and pretty much the full as well um, but yeah it says put it on the bedside table altar wherever you are looking to go deep um, it says when to use it when you find yourself drowned out by that mental noise yeah even when the greatest thinkers uh, need to be reminded thoughts are thoughts reality is reality you can deal with it like an anxious chihuahua or you can get down with kyanite and align to the moment with your calm and cool intact and the affirmation is deepen your perspective and like it says here um talking about the mental noise um that sounds a lot like it's kind of like confirmation uh what i mentioned earlier when it comes to just you guys having a lot more exercising a lot more control or awareness when it comes to certain irritations and annoyances um that you guys sort of like detach you distance yourself from it this month so yeah oh and quartz i don't think i showed you guys what it looks like it's just you know your run-of-the-mill quartz just grabbing a healing message for you guys. What is being improved this month? What is spirit working on for you this month? We have integration. So I'm going to read this out of the book. And underneath the deck, we also have truth. Like I mentioned with you guys, when it comes to uh, any sort of back and forth that you guys may be involved in this month, something about that is going to get like pretty much like squashed, taken care of, figured out. Um, and so it could be the fact that the truth is integrated into some sort of like messy seven of wands situation or irritation. And integration says we are some of all of our experiences in this and other lives. We all bring forward a wealth of knowledge, talents, and wisdom. One of the challenges is remembering who we are. We are bombarded every day in every way with messages on who we should be, what we should do, and what we should wear, how we should live. These messages coming from the media, society, our family, and friends, and even strangers can drown out who we really are meant to be who we have grown into lifetime after lifetime find some quiet moments in your day to identify and start a relationship with that small strong voice inside of you pretty soon you won't hear the other messages this message right here this part of the message right here find some quiet moments in your day to identify and start a relationship with that small strong voice inside of you this is totally that uh, judgment in reverse where that Pluto or that trumpet like I said it's like you guys are going to be able to sort of like quiet that noise with this trumpet right here in this judgment card and also too I think yeah, this kyanite card over here was talking about mental noise as well. So that's sort of like a recurring message for you guys. But it says pretty soon you won't hear the other messages. Many times in your interactions with others, you hear that small voice that tells you something is not right. Your logical mind tells you to stop it. Nothing is wrong. Stop being silly, dramatic, overreacting. You may ignore your inner voice in a quest to fit in, to be loved or admired. You do not realize that your inner voice is warning you that the other person's energy is not matching their words or actions. Wow. Listen to your instincts about the situation or person. Finishing you guys' um, reading off, pause the video or just take a moment to ask yourself 
two to three questions that maybe you want some answers for um, this month. And then I'm just gonna draw out three cards from this deck here and allow these cards to sort of answer your own questions. I'm not gonna interpret them. So this is just gonna be for you guys. So pause the video if you need a little bit of time to just sort of like drum up three different questions. I'm gonna pull three different cards to answer those questions for you, okay? So let's get started. Okay, question number one that flipped over was this one. It says the seer, follow your intuition, just like um, integration was talking about. So that's what we have for card one or question one. Question number two. Question number two is this card here on top, which is the wolf, beware who you trust. Kind of sounds a lot like be a sport over here a little bit, um, as well as your protection rune right here that was talking about defense and protection as well as seven of wands and judgment in reverse. Judgment is definitely a card that's like it doesn't believe in and trust everything for sure. And then one final one. Jesus. OK, one final card. This one, I believe, wanted to be seen for your third card i'm also going to show you guys these cards but it's just a stack of them but for your third uh question we have the oracle seek wisdom and guidance from elders okay and then your other cards here i believe they just needed to be seen for some reason so i'm going to show you guys um but we have here the serpent a sly and subtle approach is needed totally reminds me of like being innocent as a dove wise as a serpent i think that's how it goes uh then we have here the wyvern i think your secrets are safe then we have the stars a long journey brings rewards Sounds a lot like uh, the fool. And then we have the wizard. Use your skills to aid others, just like I was talking about the magician card for you guys. But pile one, this is all that I'm seeing for you guys. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Let me take this time to thank your guides, my guides, our higher self, an amazing spirit for these messages. Hopefully you all come back to visit sometime soon. And until next time, stay safe, healthy, blessed, and keep conquering the world. Bye, guys. Pile two. Welcome to your reading. We are starting off with your tarot cards or tarot reading down here to see what is turning around in your favor this June or um, because this is a timeless reading, then whatever month of the year that you see this, we're just looking into what the universe is turning around for your benefit or in your favor. And then I'll pull some uh, additional Oracle cards after we look into your tarot cards. So starting off with your tarot cards, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Then we have strength. Then the Ace of Swords. And then the Eight of Swords, another eight. I feel like right away, um, there's like a want or need for more work for some of you. Um, and also pile two, it is five, five, five on my clock. So re fives or repeating fives may be a significant number to you right now um, or this month or the month that you are seeing this reading. But something big is getting ready to change for you, pile two. For me to see repeating fives to start your reading, off with and then to also see strength over here as well we also have two eights for you in your pile the eight of pentacles and then the eight of swords over here and also the ace of swords and um under the deck for you because i can see it over here as well as the six of wands but eight of pentacles is the card of dedication um there's such a drive behind the person working in this card that it almost comes off as like divine like god has anointed this person's hands efforts and abilities and that's something that you guys are going to be seeing feeling um or improving upon this month and that's even happening when this card shows up by itself but you have another card matching the vibration of eight uh with the eight of swords over here they match in vibration because they are both minor arcana eight cards and strength here actually is the major arcana eight 
meaning that it rules the minor arcana aids. So this is telling me that a lot of you are working through uh, a, any sort of eight of swords doubts this June. Your doubts are not enough to stop you or deter you from seeing something through. You guys are very, very kind of laser focused on something. This eight of swords is also asking you individually, what is your biggest worry, concern, or fear heading into the month of June or whenever you're seeing this? And that's what is turning around for you specifically this month. You may notice that out of nowhere, you get the like courage, confidence, determination, or faith that just sort of like drops into your energy and your attitude kind of changes over the month with strength in the ace of swords here and it's that slight change in thought process that completely shifts things for you it reminds me of the uh the bible quote in matthews i think that talks about like faith the size of a small mustard seed being enough to make mountains move that is your strength this month and for some of you it may feel like out of nowhere your attitude and mental state changes quite a bit especially with this eight of swords over here you guys may have been drawn to the previous pile as well because there's a similar there's a similar energy or theme where it's like there's this very evident sort of change in just like mental state maybe how you're processing your thoughts maybe how you're processing whatever may be happening or going on in your life this month and the way that you guys approach these things the way that you guys approach these sort of challenges is almost like you have a solution for every issue because like i said these eights uh they match in vibration so it's like for every because the eight of swords is like the card of doubt typically and so with, with like every single doubt or maybe fear or concern or whatever it may be you have a solution you have a way where it's just like okay I'm gonna I'm going to resource a solution out of this so you guys are actually very resourceful this month and you're just you're you're really not letting anything stop you and like I said a lot of you guys are laser focused so I don't know if you are focused on starting something new with this ace of swords over here and you guys are just being in like extremely headstrong with strength over here in terms of like getting it done by any means necessary no matter what you run into there's nobody that can tell you no and is actually going to stop you or deter you or keep you from this ace of swords from getting something done and so that's another thing that's really improving too is just you guys like sense of this is going to get done no matter what it's just a it's like you're very laser focused on something and you just refuse to fail you refuse to quit you refuse to stop and so many of you may have been putting in work um, for months, maybe even years to change your approach to life. Or when it comes to a certain part of your life, you may have been putting like a lot of work and effort into it. And it may have felt like it didn't work back then or like it would help here and there. But something really shifts in June or the whichever month you're seeing this that feels like a paradigm or like a reality adjustment. And it opens up doors for you the same way that we see this sort of like doorway over here uh, in the Eight of Pentacles. This is like past work that you guys have maybe put into yourself and your life and it opens up doors for you the same way that we see this doorway right here in the eight of pentacles so um a lot of you guys there's just going to be this total shift or change in attitude i don't know if you guys are just moving into this month uh, or whatever month that you see this with like a lot of frustration or just like this and I feel like maybe you guys get this really strong sense of determination because you're walking into this month very frustrated, sick of things like just falling through or not going your way and just kind of almost like a, it reminds me of the saying like if you want something done right, do it yourself, especially with these two eight cards here. And then also strength is another eight card. And also your cards just look so organized to me. And I think it's because these three eight cards that we have here and an ace. Uh, but for those of you that started maybe practicing like more discipline, it'll clear your schedule like crazy in June or it'll it'll free up a lot of like your time and you'll notice that your time management skills get a lot better as well and I think that that also has to do with you guys feeling less stressed with this eight of swords over here and you guys being able to like problem solve with like way less energy or more efficiently uh this month your mind also feels just like a lot more clear with this ace of swords here and I just feel like it's because you guys are moving into this month with like a very clear idea of what you want to see happen this month or over the course of the next few months or in your future here and it's because you guys maybe started to get a lot more dedicated or even disciplined maybe you've really changed your work ethic that's another thing that you guys are going to see improve and even how you are perceived with strength and the eight of pentacles over here and you guys will see a lot of things turn around in your favor because of just this like overall attitude that you guys are adjusting to especially in your workplace for sure you guys will see a lot kind of like change or improve improve or work out in your favor um, in your workplace you may take on more work this month too I think I mentioned that at the start of your reading but it won't feel like it for those of you that are practicing more maybe
maybe like discipline uh, with the strength card over here. And you have really cleaned up the amount of like places that your energy and mind was going or racing. And it had a lot to do with trying to keep up with these demands with this eight of pentacles over here. And it keeps coming through. But it's just like another thing turning around and you guys this favor is more work, which might not sound like a good thing <laughs> to some of you, but it means more money for whoever was asking for more work, or maybe more customers or promotion or a higher position or more responsibility at your job or maybe we're asking for more hours this could be like an internship that someone is taking on um, alongside like their actual job as well uh, especially with this ace of swords right here and then trying to learn the ropes at this new place but you guys you get that prayer answered and it will bring in a lot more money for you that you'll see a real big difference in income uh, starting this June or this month for those of you that have been asking for more work so you'll see a lot of things turn around in your favor in terms of like work finances the amount of work or like the quality of work that you're doing or your work ethic that's where you guys are going to see a lot of things work out in your favor is when it comes to the quality of work that you guys are putting in to your every single day whether this is your job career lifestyle health whatever it may be even relationships um, but for me on my end from what I'm looking at in the cards here it feels like it's very uh, focused on just work and money now if you've been needing less work then ignore that part of the message but more money definitely starts coming in either way a uh, flow of money becomes more reliable or this is money coming in a lot faster than you are used to in the month of June or whenever you were seeing this some of you too random message but yes if you have been intuitively getting messages about less coffee or caffeine intake and wondering if somehow caffeine has been affecting your mood or mental health yes it has and if you drink less of it you'll notice an improvement in your mental health or overall mood this month and I don't know if caffeine affects our mental health or not um, but it's just a random message that came through okay so let's just start grabbing oracles Let's see what runes want to come through for you guys. Okay, so we have here a was transportation may represent a horse, car, plane, boat or other vehicle movement and change for the better. So a lot of change for the better. Um, this could be talking about that Ace of Swords over here. For those of you that needed, needed some sort of like maybe improvements with your transportation or your car or something like that will end up turning around and working in your favor as well. In terms of transportation, maybe you guys like being able to get more reliable transportation to and from wherever it is that you're needed or expected to go. If there's been some sort of like really important trip or travel that you guys have been wanting to take or needed to take, or if you notice that while you're traveling this month that you run into like maybe like a lot of little issues, especially with this eight of swords over here, it will turn around and end up working in your favor. There just may be like a lot of little nuisances or, or annoying little things happening with this ace of swords over here. And again, with the eight of pentacles, it's like you guys keep meeting it with like, okay, well, if like just for instance, like, all right, if I can't get my luggage until tomorrow, then I'll just go you know, substitute it with this for the next 24 hours or something. It's like you guys keep sort of meeting these little issues with some sort of a solution. So that could have uh, a lot to do with whatever goes on this month. It could have something to do with like transportation travel for those of you that may be traveling this month, but don't worry that will turn around in your favor. And if you guys have some sort of like maybe like a talisman or um, a rune or a crystal or anything that makes you guys feel like safe and taken care of, maybe take that along with you as you travel this month as well. Underneath the deck for you, we have Rido, I believe. Um, it's that travel again. Okay, so a lot of you guys, you may be traveling. Travel both in physical terms and those of lifestyle direction. A journey, vacation, relocation, evolution, change, or place change of place or setting seeing a larger perspective so a lot of you guys you may be moving you may be relocating you may be vacating um or it could just be like it says here a change in a uh, lifestyle direction so for those of you that are you're just seeing movement somewhere you're seeing movement or are moving or spending a lot more time um, away from home or just traveling or you're trying to maybe relocate in some way maybe you guys are taking up a new job in a new location a new city something about that will be improving so this almost feels like for some of you travel may have been very frustrating or there may have been some issues with traveling for example um, maybe you live really far from work something about you guys is commute whatever that is especially like any sort of like frequent commutes that you guys have to make in this pile it could be when it comes to 
to uh, maybe like if you're co-parenting, you know, or maybe it could come to like if you guys do have kids, maybe they're maybe where they go to school or something like that. There's something about commuting because there's too much travel in your room cards here. So there's something about just going back and forth all the time. It could just be with travel if you guys are traveling a lot this month. Um, but for those of you that have just been you've been really frustrated by the distance that maybe your job is from where you live or school or um, just somewhere that you need to be versus maybe where you live or where you're always at or where you're always frequenting. If that's been very frustrating, that is something that's going to turn around in your favor where there's going to be some sort of a solution, a big time solution with this eight of pentacles, again, matching the vibration of these issues in the eight of swords. So let's grab some Oracle cards here, just looking into career and finances to see what else is turning in your favor hold on let me see if both of these cards are yours okay and underneath the deck we have labor yeah that's what the eight of pentacles definitely feels like then we have here leadership and crafter like i said some of you guys you may be um, getting a promotion, taking on more work or something, maybe going from like labor to leader or even crafter. But leadership here says it is time to step up into the leadership role in your own life. You can expect to succeed in any leadership positions. Your finances will greatly improve once you accept and step into your powers. That's where you guys are going to see a lot of things turn around in your favor as well. Wherever you are um, like ready and willing to take on a bigger role or a, a leadership sort of role. And then we have your crafter. There's something wonderful just waiting to be expressed with your hands that's crazy because I was literally talking about with the eight of pentacles over here it's like uh God has anointed you guys as hands or your ability to work with your hands this so this could be something that you guys are very gifted in in this pile is like crafting things um but it says consider careers doing homemade items or some kind of craft project uh think of ways to generate money that no other has done before or try something new this is that ace of swords over here all day for sure and even the eight of pentacles you guys are like you guys are able to make something with your hands and you guys' creativity is very very good with that and then we also have your labor underneath the deck a new job of some kind is coming your way or going back to work interesting and it says a career in construction maintenance or any kind of labor work could be for you you are dependable and your dependable and loyal nature will be rewarded soon keep at it this is that eight of pentacles and strength that it's talking about like i said there's just more work for you guys coming in i don't know if you guys are just going to get offered a position a new position or something like that but there's just more work coming in for you guys and so for the card labor to show up it's totally confirming your eight of pentacles energy over here Let's just grab a crystal message for you guys okay so we have obsidian and it's and it looks like this and obsidian says what it is. Obsidian is a black volcanic glass before the internet, before AI, before kitten food delivering drones. Like way back, early Homo sapiens were getting it done with obsidian tools capable of holding an extremely sharp edge. Obsidian scalpels are used in surgeries today. Who needs it? It says anyone looking to cut out negative people and patterns from their lives or Scorpios where to put it in your pocket like a concealed weapon against bad vibes when to use it when thinking positively seems to seems out of the question. This is that eight of swords over here. It says when dark forces are at work, dig in, arm yourself with obsidian and throttle back. This is that eight of pentacles coming back or um sort of confronting that eight of swords. And then it says affirmation, protect your soul. And then underneath the deck the crystal for you guys that we have is selenite and selenite says what it is icy selenite is a form of gypsum i think with a calm cool and collected vibe who needs it healers believers the currently cleansing juice technology etc where to put it wherever you want the slate wiped clean your bedside table after a brutal work week Again with work eight of pentacles um or around your apartment after somebody extra shady visits <laughs> and it says when you use it when you move into a new space and want any lingering bad juju to vamoose so some of you guys for sure this is confirmation that is um 
that either you're moving or relocating and that is something that is also turning around in your favor this month and it says when you pray to gods above when you have been working with crystals and want to clear away energy that they have picked up in the process give them a gentle tap with selenite and the affirmation down here is clear your path to enlightenment so it's another thing working out in you guys' favor is some sort of realization with clear path to enlightenment and this ace of swords down here let's see what is being healed or improved turning around in your favor for this month okay and we have underneath the deck is inner journey the card that came out is feminine energy so i'll read feminine energy out of the book and feminine energy says darkness the moon the tides the quiet gestation before the chaos the void these are all aspects of feminine energy passive waiting gestating and nurturing it is the opposite of the prior card so very different yet the perfect companion perhaps you have yet to find your feminine side the life you are leading right now has given you opportunities to embrace this part of you but between the two opposing energies feminine energy is the harder one to embrace it requires trust and a lack of fear trust that all is as it should be and the absence of the fear of things not getting done Perhaps in the past you have been hurt when you were embracing your feminine energy, physically or mentally. This was the free will of the person who hurt you. It was not caused by being who you were. Do not let the actions of another dictate who you need to be. Examine your feminine side, become friends with her again. And alternately, this card represents an important woman in the seeker's life. So this is another thing working out for you guys' this favor is powering into your feminine energy. Whether you are um, a man or a woman, however it is that you identify, we all have feminine energy within us and masculine. Uh, but feminine energy is really trying to reach out to you guys for this month because there's something that when tapping into your feminine energy is really going to help turn something around in you guys' favor for this month. All right, pile two. And at this point in the reading, um, take a pause if you need to. And I want you to focus on or channel three questions or maybe concerns. And then I'm going to pull three cards without interpreting them. And these will serve as some sort of like energetic answers or maybe even just a little bit more clarity to whatever three um, concerns or questions that you asked. So uh, pause the video if you need to generate like three questions for yourself. And... When you get back, we'll shuffle. Okay. So for question one. Question one, we have the black cat. Your luck will soon change. For question two. We have the talisman. You are destined to succeed. And for question three. We have the gate. A barrier, a barrier keeps you from your goal. All right, in pile two, this is all that I'm seeing for you guys. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Let me take this time to thank your guides, my guides, our higher self, and amazing spirit for these messages. Hopefully, you all come back to visit sometime soon, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. All right, pile three, welcome to your reading. So we're starting off with your tarot cards or tarot reading down here to check out um, what is turning around or working out in your favor this June or whichever month you are viewing this reading since this is a timeless reading. And then afterwards, I'll be pulling some additional oracle cards as well as answering three different questions for you guys. So let's get started. The very first tarot card is the Eight of Wands. Then we have the Page of Swords. The 
Then we have the Six of Swords. And then the Emperor. Um, so definitely something may change in pace. And that could be something that's definitely turning around in you guys' favor uh, this month of June or whenever you're seeing this for the Eight of Wands to start off you guys' reading. But another thing that I'm really seeing here is more communication, quicker communication is one really important shift for you guys in this pile. So you may have been waiting on a decision or some clarity or feedback, and this could be a stalemate that you have been engaged in with someone in your life, or it could be like a personal situation that is frustrating because someone isn't communicating as much as you would like for them to, or what they've been saying isn't making sense. And another really important message in terms of what is working out for a lot of you guys is direct communication. So this feels like such a relief because you may be used to someone or people in general or certain situations kind of beating around the bush, maybe not being super like um, vocal or maybe uh, real. And there could be someone in your life too, a very specific message, but there could be someone in your life that's either like a people pleaser or they have a horrible sense of boundaries. And it's very frustrating because somehow it directly affects or impacts you. And this feels like, for example, like a spouse that is very worried about keeping everyone else happy so you end up being the one that maybe looks like the stern one or the bad guy and it's like because someone else has terrible boundaries or is like a chronic people pleaser or maybe they take responsibility um, for other people's emotional states when they shouldn't or don't have to it just puts stress or weight on you guys and so what is interesting is that that really ends up changing in June or whatever month that you're seeing this. It's obvious to the universe that you cannot keep being someone else's mouthpiece uh, with the Six of Swords over here. And that is exactly how this card is showing up for you. So typically this card talks about moving on or getting away and putting some distance between a stubborn situation and yourself in order to get some peace. It's a card that is ruled by swords, which deals with information, communication, language, reasoning, and logic. But the six of swords is sailing away on a boat. So for you, pile three, it's showing up as you having to almost like insert yourself when it comes to communication or speaking for someone else. It may show up as when um, someone like asks asks this person a question and you have to explain their answer or speak up for them. Uh, same way that this page of swords is looking away from the sword that he's holding. It's like outside communication that feels inserted. And so the best way that I can describe, and this is about looking into how the universe is helping you out this June or this whatever month you're seeing this and how it's turning things around for you. And I can see here that you have like other responsibilities or things that need your attention uh, with this eight of wands over here and also this um, page of swords and even the six of swords and even the emperor. So all your cards here. Um, but because someone around you doesn't have a strong sense of self or like a backbone, I would say like you with emperor, it's like you have to be strong for you and someone else or maybe even multiple people in your life and you're just tired. And I just completed a super long episode over on Patreon and did a horoscope reading for each zodiac sign about the next 12 months since Jupiter just moved into a new sign. He just moved into Taurus. And I looked into how each sign is going to be blessed and how this transit is going to affect every single sign's life. But Virgo had a lot of really, <laughs> a lot of really interesting messages come up. But one that's sticking out right now was about Virgo basically assuming the position of an asshole, you know, excuse my French, over the next year because it's long overdue. But I wouldn't be shocked if some of you have like Virgo sixth house placements or a really prominent Mercury in your chart because so much of your reading is revolving around needing someone else to pick up the slack, especially when it comes to like exhibiting strength and you don't want to be the strong one or the stern one or the one to say no all the time. And it looks like someone expects you to do that. Like they almost like depend on you to do that. Or it's like they know that you're going to speak up and say something. This could even be like at work, for instance. There could be somebody like in a higher up position than you guys. And it's like the way that you guys like vocalize or speak up or say what needs to be said. It's almost as though you should have their position or be in their position. So it almost looks like someone expects you to sort of take the lead everywhere. And that's where you'll see things change or work out for you 
is like a, a relief in that area. So in June or whatever month you're seeing this, there will be times that you are asked or placed in like really precarious positions, so, sort of like between a rock and a hard place. And it's like you could snap. You might have some prominent Leo placements too, maybe Sun in Virgo or in like Mercury and Leo, um, because Leo has like uh, Lilith moving through her first, her first house. But it's like before you even have to be the emperor or be the one to make the decision, someone or something else steps in with this Eight of Wands over here where you're where you are relieved of that um position so for a good amount of you in this pile there's a really not fun place that you could be put in this month and literally before you even have to inconvenience yourself by intervening or making a decision or delivering some sort of like bad news something stops you or changes drastically especially with this uh, page of swords over here transition to the six of swords it's like maybe you get a call or a text or an email right at, right before you say something or do something and there's also like some sort of a possible crisis being averted for you guys and it might not be in your immediate awareness pile three but something gets stopped in its tracks as you can see with this eight of wands over here something like steps in or blocks these wands for re from reaching you um and this like six of wands is giving you enough time to get out of the way so it's like some sort of page of swords some sort of information some sort of like a direct message comes in or steps in kind of blocks these eight of wands and it gives you enough time to just sort of carry on and do whatever it is that you need to do also too for those of you that are a parent this is definitely you and your child or your family being very protective this month because it it looks like a mom and its child right here or a parent and their child right here uh, just sort of getting getting away so this definitely tells me as well um, with that imagery showing up in your reading that you your children or your family are going to be protected so there could even be something that is going on with your family or your kids for instance and it's like before it affects them before it gets to them some sort of something comes through or stops uh, them from maybe being impacted or affected in some way with this page of swords over here another thing working out for you too is exactly what you asked for prayed for called and set intention for and it is set up exactly as you wanted it to be uh, with this emperor over here who is not the easiest character to please he's an emperor he's the sort of person that's like I said I only eat blue M&M's, damn it. And, you know, someone makes that happen for them. Someone literally goes through and picks out all the blue M&M's and puts them in a, in a bowl for him. He's the emperor. So it's like you have a blue M&M only please manifestation happening for you uh, in June or whatever month you're seeing this. Because emperor is a solid card being the number four, he anchors things as well, like how manifestations get anchored in, into our 3D reality because this realm is so dense. So this is energy being called out of the ethers of the spiritual realm with the eight of wands right here and being delivered or directed by these swords over here to your exact location in the emperor it's a very specific synchronicities as well will be happening for many of you all june or whatever month you're seeing this it may have already started for some of you so let's start grabbing some runes for you okay so we have here wonju i think but it is joy, comfort, pleasure, fellowship, harmony, prosperity, ecstasy, glory, spiritual reward, but also the possibility of going over the top. That's that emperor energy right there. So this is another thing working out for you guys in your favor is where it has to do with your comforts in life and your pleasure and any sort of issues that you guys may have had like in some sort of a community or a group or maybe within your family because we have the card here or the word here fellowship like if you guys have been having any sort of issues maybe like connecting to your community or your family or your friends or something like that you guys may be spending a lot more time with people in your life um that you really love and care about you guys may be uh, visiting family and stuff like that or, or friends or anything like that or they could be coming to visit you with fellowship over here and harmony and prosperity this is another thing that is turning around in you guys' favor and another thing too with a uh, spiritual reward it kind of feels like it's talking about a sense of protection or it could just be the spiritual realm coming in and manifesting like what we were sort of talking about with your emperor card over here something just getting anchored to you guys is like physical reality and then underneath the deck here we have urus i believe physical strength and speed untamed this is at eight of wands untamed potential a time of great energy and health freedom energy action courage strength tenacity understanding and wisdom so this is other things working out in you guys's favor or improving this month it will have a lot to do with just like you guys maybe tapping into some sort of a potential here um, or it could be somebody around you guys tapping into their own potential and sort of helping you out in some way too let's see how work and finances will work out in your favor this month
we have the people you spend the most time with shape who you are. Yeah, there's something up with the people that you guys are spending time with this month, especially with fellowship. And then that um, that message that came through about some of you maybe dealing with somebody who they maybe are like um they don't really know how to speak up for themselves or maybe they expect you to be the one to take on the responsibility and the job of speaking up for everybody so something about the pe the people that you guys spend the most time with shaping who you are will improve or turn around in your favor this month in terms of work and career or work and finances for you and then we have beware underneath the deck. Be prudent for things are not as they seem. Careful who you talk to regarding money or business matters. Don't make any type of financial commitments right now. So this is what this kind of felt like. Like I was talking about some sort of crisis being averted for you guys um, that I mentioned when I was just looking at your tarot cards with this eight of wands. Something comes in with this page of swords and you guys are able to like get out of the way. And you might not even know that you are... Um, that you guys are being protected from some sort of a crisis because it might not even fall into your awareness. You guys might not even get the news of it because something here, this page of swords is protecting you guys in the six of swords over here. So there's definitely some sort of crisis being averted when it comes to you guys' um, work and finances this month, but it could have a lot to do with um, a person that is connected to your career and finances. It could have something to do with somebody that you guys work with. It could even have something to do with a boss. You know your situation and it's going to be different for each of you. So since this is a general reading, but for two of your cards, your career cards to talk about people um, having an impact on career and finances for you this month. Uh, this is where you guys want to be careful or be just a little more watchful, a little more discerning. But at the same time, too, I wouldn't be shocked if you guys don't experience any sort of crisis at work or any sort of issues with people concerning your finances and career, something like that, because something about this page of swords, there's there's a very strong protection that's in between you and um, some sort of an issue, a possible issue with this eight of wands. Let's grab some crystal messages for you. Pile three. What is turning around in your favor? Okay, so we have underneath the deck is bismuth and then we have malachite. It looks like this. But it says what it is with its trademark acid trip swirls. Money green malachite is an electrifying mesmerizer with a high copper content. Always good for moving energy and making things happen. Who needs it? The overflowing and creativity but lacking and follow through. The all business all the time set. Where to put it? If you are trading cryptocurrency, writing television pilots, or starting up the next tech giant, try some malachite in your workspace. Yeah, there could be something going on with work for you guys. Um, but it says when to use it when the concrete jungle has you disconnected from the earth beneath it when you have just when you've just got to have the money the power and all the glory come at it with a heart forward sustainable energy courtesy of Malachite and then the affirmation is claim your success so this is definitely a um, career focused month for a lot of you guys. And then we have here underneath the deck bismuth, what it is, an iridescent crystalline metal with a stair-step structure that forms when, li when liquid bismuth cools. Bismuth's energy is focusing, conductive, and awakening. Who needs it? The easily distracted burners, people who are very bored, where to put it on your desk in Silicon Valley and your utility belt in Black Rock City, when to use it for those looking for some psychedelic influence without swallowing the red pill, lie on your back and take 10 or 100 or a million powerful breaths through your mouth with bismuth placed on your forehead, then break out of tired gray thought patterns and get en route to a more colorful, energized life. And the affirmation is rewrite your code with rainbows. And bismuth looks like this. So I feel like your crystal messages were talking about um, work a bit for you guys. So um, expect to definitely see some things turn around in your favor in terms of work or even finances for this month, pile three. Let's grab a healing message for you. What's working out in your favor? Card that flipped over is movement into balance. And then underneath the deck, joy. Just like your other um, oracle card over here was talking, one Jew, I believe, was talking about joy, comfort, pleasure, fellowship, harmony, prosperity. So more movement into balance. So there's going to be less stress for sure. 
And movement into balance says the sun balances the moon just as the earth, the water, and the sky remain in precious balance. So you are moving from unbalanced ideas and lifestyles into a more balanced way of being. A situation may call for some tweaking to adjust it into a balanced mode. Look at the energy and emotions that you are putting out into the universe, your world, your relationships, or goals. Balance that with the energy that you are allowing yourself to receive. The body inherently tries to maintain a state of balance. So do your... So do your soul, so do our souls. If you are not receiving enough, you may be unconsciously giving more to restore a perceived balanced state. Step out of that automatic response and listen to your guides and soul for what the situation truly warrants. Yeah, I feel like for whatever it is that is going on for you guys this month, you guys are definitely moving into some more balance, more joy, comfort, pleasure. Um, speed is also changing for you guys for speed to come out in your uh rune oracle as well as the eight of wands too and even the six of swords over here so this is like a uh, movement happening in your life and it could have something to do with your career for a couple of messages to come out about you guys's career and that may be why you guys are being so protected from whatever this crisis is and that may be why um and that's why you guys may not find out about some sort of like an issue or problem that was sort of like on its way to you with this eight of wands right here because you guys are moving into more balance where there's less stress there's more joy there's more comfort and so these are the things that is turning around really like in your favor especially too with whatever it is that you guys may end up manifesting with the emperor over here maybe just some more stability some more foundation and then finally you guys can pause the video now um but try to think of three different questions or concerns and i'm going to pull three different cards from this deck to answer each one one of your concerns or questions and I will not be interpreting them this will be solely for you so pause if you need some extra time other than that let's get started so for question one for question one we have winds of change your surroundings will undergo transition For question two, we have the shield. You are safe from harm. Exactly. This is that crisis you guys are, will not be dealing with. And for question three, we have the caduceus. You will receive news from afar. This is that page of swords coming in and also the answer to whatever your third question was but pile three this is all that i'm seeing for you guys thank you so much for tuning in let me take this time to thank your guides my guides our higher self and amazing spirit for these messages hopefully you all come back to visit sometime soon and until next time stay safe healthy blessed and to keep conquering the world bye you guys pile four welcome to your reading so we're starting off with your tarot cards or tarot reading to check out what is turning around in your favor what the universe is helping to turn around in your benefit for this month of june or whenever you are seeing this reading because this is a timeless reading and then we'll be pulling some additional oracle cards later on and then answering three different questions or concerns that you guys may have uh, with some oracle pulls but let's get started the very first tarot card that we have for you is the four of swords Then the Ace of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups. And the Ace of Wands in reverse. So I feel like a lot of you Pile 4 are going into June in this Four of Swords mindset maybe under some deep contemplation over something or this is like a very serious channeling as well a month where you're going to be channeling like a lot of information you'll feel a lot more committed or focused in june and very very clear-headed uh so if you've been dealing with like mental congestion leading into june or whatever month you're seeing this you will feel more mentally stable and you'll be able to spend less mental energy so it could have been stressful for some of you heading into uh this month and that's one of the first things working or being worked out for you we have the ace of pentacles and hands down this is new money coming in the month of june or whenever you're seeing this these coins haven't even been accounted for yet when we're dealing with 
the Ace of Pentacles and likely won't have anywhere that they need to go or belong to because with Aces is like we can go anywhere with this. It's up to us how we spend or handle Ace energy, which is all about divine intervention. And this is the universe dropping something very tangible into your life, very material, something that you can use in any way that you see fit, which tells me that this is like extra money or resources that you might not need to dedicate to the essentials. So you guys may realize an idea or opportunity that creates like a new stream of income uh, this month. Knight of Cups and the Ace of Wands in reverse, it talks about this month being the start of something that might be so new, you can't see it for what it is just yet. And again, that just has everything to do with Ace Energy. There's an infinite amount of ways that Ace Energy can develop that we hardly ever have a good read as to what it'll turn into. And you have two of them in your reading. So when Wands show up in reverse, it's very different than upright because when Wands show up right side up, this is fire energy that we are projecting or putting out out and we wait for it to return to us so when it's in reverse this is fire spirit animated energy coming in but this is an ace something that we are given so in reverse it shows up as a block or interference something is trying to be given but there is some something is in the way so wherever you guys have dealt with energy going out but not coming in like some sort of imbalance in your life this is uneven exchange in the form of spirit fire aka energy so this is like prayers intentions attempts that you guys have made to to no avail. And that is what is turning around and working out for you this month, since that's the theme of this reading. And what's interesting is I'm seeing a connection between your cards here, uh, where whatever you have and didn't get back is returning financially or materially with this Ace of Pentacles. Uh, the Knight of Cups may also manifest as someone trying to win you over maybe financially or with gifts or charm you in some way. And so this is even help returning to you guys and this month is about you guys getting back what you've given before in some way which is why with your four of swords you won't have to worry about what was stressing you out previously four of swords is pretty intuitive and it's like many of you guys are going to know that you don't need to worry about something or stress about something and the reason being is because you'll be able to feel this energy on a return path to you because we have the four of swords and this ace of pentacles you may have to sit and think about an opportunity decision or an offer in june before moving on it with this knight of cups especially with this ace of wands in reverse here that could be something that you have to pay ahead of time and then just like wait for it to return but because this reading is looking at what is working at what is working out in your favor if you get a specific offer about investing in some way, of course, listen to your intuition first and foremost, and then consult your people. But the energy here is talking about a potential investment working out down the road, turning around in your favor down the road. Four of Swords says you're cautious and, and discerning in June or in this month, whatever month you're seeing this, because some stuff may sound too good to be true, especially with this Ace of Wands in reverse. It's like a lack of interest or excitement with this card, but something seems very promising, like this other Ace over here and the Knight of Cups. And also to you guys have Magician in reverse um, under your deck. And so for you guys, you will experience some situations or potential offers that are, you know how like some houses you can just move straight in, it's like move and ready. And then there's other ones that you have to work with a little bit before it's able to be occupied. That's how some of your offer energy shows up in June as like potential. There we go. So this could even be people like pursuing you romantically or professionally this month, especially with this night here. And again, you guys are very discerning. You know that you need time to look into everything before just jumping on anything because you guys' energy is like, listen, I'm not desperate give me three business days to make a decision and again this could be work romance friendship business money related opportunities anything for some of you guys too you may decide to stop engaging in something with your ace of wands in reverse um it could be like alcohol for instance or smoking for example or whatever it is um that is something that ends up working out in you guys's favor because it's like whatever it is that you guys stop doing it returns to you in some other energetic form with the ace of pentacles over here for those of you two in this pile about to give up on something again because you haven't seen like any sort of feedback results or action do not give up just yet because like i said there's a very 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 new beginning here for you that has just started when you move into this month you could have been doing something like making music for instance all this year but some sort of energy about to return just took off on its way back to you so don't give up because this ace of wands in reverse can be sneaky energy and what i mean by that is 
it's an ace of wands or beginning of fire. And what is the start of a fire? It's a spark and sparks happen out of nowhere. So don't lose that initial excitement, passion or intention. Um, and magician in reverse underneath the deck, something is just quiet right now for a lot of you guys, but it doesn't mean that it's not happening. It means it is moving. And it's when stuff materializes and manifests that it stops because it's here already. It's got nowhere else to go. So then stuff stops moving. Um, but if something is quiet right now, it means it's on its way to you. Um, so that's another thing that's really turning around in you guys' favor as well. Let's start grabbing some rune oracle cards for you. Okay, we have here Tewaz, I believe. Um, honor, justice, leadership, and authority. Analysis, rationality, knowing where one's true strengths lie, and willingness to self-sacrifice. Yeah, this is sort of that ace of wands in reverse that I was talking about. That it's like you guys may have to invest in potential first before you actually see something pay off like it says here willingness to self-sacrifice and um investments they are a sacrifice because you're paying something before you actually get it back obviously and then underneath the deck for you we have jara uh i think and it says the results of earlier efforts are realized exactly a time of peace and happiness fruitful season it can break through stagnancy hopes and expectations of peace and prosperity it's a fruitful season and it can break through stagnancy this is you guys ace of pentacles as well as your knight of wands so there's something that is a time of peace too is also confirmation of your four of swords down here you guys are just moving into a very peaceful month all right and let's see how your career and finances are improving this month or working out in your favor and so we have fear and then underneath the deck we have beauty but fear here fear says overcome your fear of success or failure do not sabotage your own success this is very interesting because i just did this like massive celtic cross spread reading over on patreon looking into the next 12 months um because jupiter just moved into a new sign it'll be there for 12 months until next may 2024 and um that was a very strong message that kind of came through it was a lot of messages that came through but that was kind of a strong one that came through was <laughs> because it was just an interesting setup of cards the way that those cards came out was hilarious to me it was pretty wild um but it was interesting seeing how Certain things that may manifest over the next year may feel like we have to confront things that we've been wanting to manifest. We've been wanting to see these changes in our lives. And in some way, it's going to make us have to like confront um, maybe some sort of fear of success or even failure. But it says don't sabotage your own success. Don't allow your fear don't allow your fear to make you forget your greatness. Remain positive and on track. It may require to step out of your comfort zone to achieve the abundance that you desire. And yeah, we see that with two aces over here as well. But another thing that is turning around in you guys' favor is any sort of fear that you guys may have, especially in terms of any sort of decision or or whatever it is that you guys are moving into this month contemplating for those of you that are moving into this month like contemplating something trying to make the right decision somewhere you guys may have a really big fear of making the wrong choice but that is where you guys are going to see a lot of things work out in your favor or turn around um in your favor for your benefit and then we have beauty underneath the deck embrace your unique style and own it let the world see who you really are consider careers doing hair jewelry clothing or any job that enhances others beauty your inner world must match your outer world for things to change and this kind of reminds me of this four of swords just you guys like being in such a peaceful sort of vibrational state um moving into this month or at a certain point in time in this month and grabbing a crystal message for you guys what is turning around in your favor this month what do you need to know all right and so this is the card of Jasper or the crystal Jasper. And it looks like this. Um, and Jasper says what it is. Jasper describes a huge variety of opaque 
quartz stones from Picasso Jasper. I'm going to be prolific to Mukite Jasper. I'm going to lay low and power up to Red Jasper. You're going to want to move out of my way. These earthy babies help align us to our core powers. Who needs it? Air signs and city folk. Where to put it? Wherever you are when you would rather be barefoot. Pulling vibes from the earth below. Think white sand, green grass, yoga mat. This is at Four of Swords. When to use it when you want to get back into your body after a stressful work week, a long flight, or a lit meditation session. Four of Swords again. And then it says affirmation, strengthen your foundation. So this is where you guys are going to see a lot of things turn around in your favor as well. And then underneath the deck for you guys, we have vanadinite what it is playful oh and it looks like this it says what it is playful geometric and fiery vanadinite i think a mining byproduct often sourced from america's southwest forms an orange to red hexagonal shaped crystals when lead or oxidizes who needs it those lacking self-discipline where to put it vanadinite has a high lead content so definitely not in your mouth when you use it when it is time to live in the moment four swords when you are prime when you are the prime audience for a motivational speech, whether it's hard work, making art, or just a blissed out moment free from the mind's ongoing commentary, an energizing meditation with vanadinite can help knock down whatever stands between you and your happy place, break through your big blocks. That's another thing that you guys are going to be seeing turn around in your favor is just any sort of like like we were talking about with your ace of wands in reverse any sort of energy that's like it's trying to come in but something is blocking it so you guys are going to see a lot of breakthroughs in terms of whatever was blocked before and that's where you guys are going to be experiencing like a lot of things turn around for you this month and let's just grab a healing message for you okay and this card is self-love underneath the deck we have for you grounding so I'm going to read self-love out of the book. It says, we always try to think so highly of the ones that we love. We even give strangers the benefit of the doubt. But when it comes to self-love, many of us fall woefully short. To love oneself is to accept imperfection, embrace learning and battle through the all-consuming fires of self-doubt in order to find the energetic balance inside each of us. Beware of the small insidious voice that perhaps repeats a negative self-assessment you had as a child. Maybe an ex-lover or friend put a label on you that you have accepted. These self-judgments have no place in a whole healthy relationship that is vital to have with yourself. It is only when you find your love for yourself that you can sincerely offer love to others. And this may be what you guys are really trying to channel moving into this month, especially Especially with uh, the four of swords and then the ace of pentacles right here and um, also the knight of cups too so you guys will also notice that your sense of self-love um, really starts to improve or feel a lot better or feel it's like it's easier to practice self-love this month and just you guys tapping into that self that sense of self-love also going to help turn around things in your favor this June or whenever you're seeing this and then finally you guys can pause the video if you need to and think of three different questions or concerns that you would like answers to. And then I'm just going to pull three separate cards from this deck here. I will not be interpreting them. That is for you guys to do, but they will be answers to three of your questions or concerns. So pause the video if you need to right now. Otherwise, let's get started. So question number one, we have the Wyvern, your secrets are safe. Question number two, that just kind of flipped over. We have the key, locked doors can now be open, as well as the caduceus, you will receive news from afar. And question We have the Griffin, honor and good luck. And pile four, this is all that I'm saying for you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Let me take this time to thank your guides, my guides, our higher self, an amazing spirit for these messages. Hopefully you all come back to visit sometime soon and stay safe, healthy, blessed, and to keep conquering the world. Bye, you guys.